Shouldn't it big enough? And some uh, hot water. A little bit is enough. salt and the uh, baking soda and the uh, aluminum foil so because the uh, uh, the tarnish on the silver is a silver sulfide uh, using aluminum foil in a solution with lots of uh, electrolytes will uh, push the electrons back to the silver to re reduce it back to silver so I think it's like this is basically how a chemical battery works. So um, I'm not sure. Like on the internet, they use like aluminum foil to straight up. But uh, I'm thinking maybe like uh, because all we need to do is to form a circuit with uh, between the silver and the aluminum. So I think maybe like cutting it into strips will work better because of like uh, surface area. I don't know. Let's try it out. I mean, it won't hurt because like. There's no worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is the, the circuit doesn't work, uh, so it doesn't do anything. It won't hurt my silver anyway. And like, I heard some like uh, silver collection communities hate people doing this because they think like uh, uh, tarnished silver has its own like artistic value. But the thing is, this is not some fucking like uh, uh, 2000 BC like Roman Greek coin. This is fucking like I don't know like. Cross made in China probably, so like it won't hurt. So I hope that this will work out. Oh, I should make it in a separate solution from the aluminum. I think the maybe the the, the basic solution will eat the aluminum, so I'll probably do it later. I need that hot. I should probably put some cold water first. It's not DI water, but what what I. Salt. They say 20 grams, which is a lot actually. Do you have fingernails? Thanks. It's just electrolyte. The, the salt doesn't do anything too chemical with it. And this is baking soda, which is uh, sodium bicarbonate, making more basic. I think, I think maybe making it basic to like uh, trigger the aluminum reaction. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but uh, hopefully this is what it, how it works. It doesn't matter if it doesn't dissolve totally. I think it would dissolve eventually. I mean, again, this is not DI water, so the water can contain anything, uh, which make it cloudy. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it's cloudy because I think it dissolved. I think this is as much as it can dissolve. Okay, now I'm putting the aluminum. Maybe I should make some more aluminum. I mean, worst case scenario, if the pieces doesn't work out, throw the entire thing in, but I don't think that would be the issue. And then all we need to do is to let the silver touch the aluminum. I can see bubble forming. Is that... What I think I'm seeing, bubble forming, hopefully is, I don't know. You can see bubble forming, so like, ah, uh, what is, I'm not sure if it's uh, hydrogen sulfide, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's sulfur. Okay, so silver. Maybe higher, like, okay, so, um, the electron gave it to silver ions, so, like, silver becomes back to silver, 
which makes the sulfide ions in the basic solution. Do you know what the sulfide ion will react in basic solution? We are shit chemists. See the bubble still forming. Seems like. I mean, there's some shit in the wood floating in the water. You can see. So. I mean, I can take it out. It's like uh, I can check if it's working. And it won't hurt. It worked. It worked. It worked. Okay. Hopefully, it longer. Let the uh, the the thing is, you have to let let it touch the aluminum. This is tricky. Yeah, so so like, it was extremely tarnished around this area. It's not completely gone, so I'll leave it in contact with aluminum for longer, maybe. See, there's a lot of shit floating in water. That's probably the sulfide, whatever sulfide is reacting with. I'm not 100% sure, but it turned out the aluminum strip worked. I mean, it's a chemical battery anyway, so it should work. There's no reason it shouldn't work. Um, maybe some more aluminum. I just need to let the silver sulfide touch the aluminum. That's all I'm doing. I heard maybe you can. Oh, some some people think. Oh, maybe that will work like even better. I think uh, there's another technique is uh, you can. Um, I'm not sure, I read about this so many years ago, probably I forgot about. So you can wrap the silver you want to uh, clean with aluminum and uh, like wrapping our barbecue piece and you put the entire thing in, I think. Maybe even like, just like, um, electrolyte saturated like aluminum itself can 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 do it. Um, I'll try that. I mean, I think it worked by a lot already. I'll try the wrapping method, and uh, maybe we can start a new 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 recording, like what I'm doing. That okay? Start a new recording. So um, I wrapped the entire cross with aluminum, and I let it sit in the electrolyte water. I spilled the water just now but I added some more salt and more um, sodium bicarbonate so I think it will work. Um, let's see. So if I pick it up and open it up. The, the chain definitely, I swear to Lord Jesus, the chain definitely uh, polished. The chain was almost black. Like, uh, because I got this uh, cross when I was, like, I don't know, 15, 16, and never polished it. So the, this has been, like, six, seven years without polish. But see, the chain definitely, like, looks shiny. It looked very shiny. Like, it was, like, brown, like, tarnished before, but the chain definitely looked very shiny. I was talking to my housemate. I can perform this as a magic. Like, if I will, if I live in like medieval times, I can just like go to churches and say, "Hey, oh. um, they don't have aluminum back then, but nickel with uh, uh, zinc plating will work." And they definitely have zinc and nickel back then. So I say, "Oh, I, I need some holy zinc and holy nickel, and then uh, use some holy salt and holy soda." To make a holy water, and then you put your cross in this holy water, and it will like uh, shine as a, I don't know, um, Jesus grease upon us. Looks pretty good. I can I can use my um, I can use my um. um Wiping technique, wipe it up, and it should be shiny as well as hell. Yeah. Ta-da. Okay.